good afternoon everybody hope everyone is well uh, and enjoying the nice weather that we're having recently um, yeah just doing a quick video today to show you all um, the biggest investment of my business so far um, as I say I've only moved to uh, to where I am now just over a year ago um, so still sort of growing and trying to you know make some moves really um, but I thought it's finally time to yeah put my money where my mouth is um, and secondly, this will be a bit of a shout out to uh, 2,000 subscribers as well. So thank you everyone for subscribing. Sorry about the noise. It is so noisy around here every day. I'm still basically a building site. Um, yeah, thank you. I haven't hit 2,000 yet, but I should do by tonight, maybe tomorrow. So um, I just thought I'd do like a little early. Thank you very much for that. Yes, and I only hit uh, 1,000 on the 10th of March, which was amazing. I'll never forget that day. Um, and it's the 15th, 14th of April today. Um, which is amazing. So it's been just over a month and I've got another thousand. So thank you everyone for subscribing um, and watching the videos. It's taken off much quicker than I expected and I really appreciate it. Um, while I'm here actually, let me give a shout out to my brother. Um, his name is Sledge. Um, this is my actual real life brother as well. He's just started a YouTube channel. Um, he was a mechanic for a number of years. Um, so he lives in Germany now, but he's done a YouTube channel where he's basically fixing up uh, old cars that he finds and things like that basically a car centered channel mainly around volvos for the minute but he's going to be branching out um into some uh, other different cars as well but they're really good videos actually so go check that out i'll leave the link in the description it's called involvoed i think the channel name is which is quite clever i'm um, just so go check that out um any more shout outs or anything don't think so but i'll think in a minute um yeah let me show you the point of this video anyway and tell you all what i've bought da, da, da. there she is my pride and joy uh, it's 2016 Peugeot Expert, um, really nice size van. Um, I found a, a pretty good deal for it, to be honest. Um, it was about 10 grand all in all. Um, yeah, and here she is. I was gonna go for something smaller or something bigger. Um, I was gonna sort of get like a, um, a transit custom sort of size van, but then I saw this and I was like, man, this is actually kind of perfect. It's a little bit smaller than a transit custom, I think. Um, but yeah, absolutely uh, perfect for the sort of work that I'll be doing. Um, yeah, in really, really good condition. I think it was only one previous owner um, and it's been very well looked after and it's all nice and neat and tidy. There's not really any scrapes, bumps, um, nothing on it. She is uh, in really, really good condition. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, show you the space around the back now. Um, there's a, it's got a, a sat nav already put in. Oh, the Rhino roof racks as well with the roll bar at the back. That was always another selling point for me, so I don't have to mess around get setting it up myself. So that came with it as well, which is awesome. It's got a security lock on the back, which I've just put on the bin. Um, I'll open her up now as the keys. And here we are, let's have a look. Yeah, she's not insured or anything yet. Um, I'm going to shop around for some quotes. I literally just got it the other day, but I've been so busy. I haven't had a chance to really enjoy it yet. Um, so yeah, here we are. So I've got some cupboard storage already in here. Um, I don't know if I'll keep that or not. Um, I'll probably end up taking it out. But to be honest, um, it is in quite good condition, actually. And there's a lot of space for stuff to be put on it. Um, and there's like this big armor box here as well, which I could store tools or chemicals in. But chances are I will probably be taking that out. Um, yeah, and because it's just a bit bulky, and I think here, mate, I was probably gonna get a hot box set up. Oh, but yeah, as you can see, loads of room. I'm absolutely over the moon, so I'm probably gonna have a hot box set up at the back. Um, there's doors on each side as well, uh, which is pretty handy. So it'd be sort of a case of no matter what way I'm parked, um, I can sort of, you know, get a hose reel out either which way, which will be lovely. Um, access from both sides. So yeah, I reckon I'm gonna have a hot box put in here few hose reels down here um i'm not sure here actually this will be a good test for me i will go and get a pole out and see if my 40 foot fits in the back let's have a look so i genuinely have not even had a chance to enjoy this thing yet i haven't put any of my stuff in it yet nothing so oh yeah i've got loads of room look at that so 40 foot pole fits perfectly on the floor which is lovely um i'll probably have them put on the roof on some little uh, holders on the roof might insert a picture of what i mean if you don't know what i mean um but yeah so that's about it so loads of room loads of space i can fit all my equipment in there pressure washing stuff hot box hose reels the lot so no longer a lot of people have been asking me yeah a lot of people have been asking me oh can we see your uh, can we see your van set up can we see 
uh, what you work out of um, and how everything's laid out. Um, and yeah, I, I, it was a bit embarrassing really because I've been working out of a Peugeot 206 for um, for a, too long now, let's put it that way. So it was about time that I uh, get a van sorted. Oh God, that door's a bit stiff actually. Hang on. There we are. It was about time I uh, got a nice vehicle sorted. Um, and it, it's one of them things where it all helps to look a bit more professional as well when you turn up to jobs. Because I'm getting a lot of bigger jobs that are starting to come in lately. Um, I do feel like a bit of a, I don't know, I don't feel like I look the part as much when you're getting out of a, a Peugeot 206 compared to getting out of a van and you know feeling the part and looking the part. Um, I've already inquired for some sign writing. Um, I've messaged a company. Um, I'm just waiting to hear back for some details off that, but I reckon I'm probably going to go for like a full wrap sort of thing. Um, maybe if it's too expensive, if we're talking thousands, then uh, definitely not. I'll um, probably just get some decent sort of sticker things put on the side just with the logo on it and some sort of details of like pressure washing, roof cleaning, um, gutter cleaning, things like that. So yeah, that's about it. So hopefully this was a quick little video. I didn't ramble on too much, um, but yeah, over the moon. Lovely van, finally. This is like a big proud moment for me and a, a life goal ticked off the list. So um, I've got a, a really, really bad bungalow roof to do tomorrow. Um, so I will probably video that one because it's going to be quite a quite a bad job. Well, a good job by me, but uh, hopefully. Um, but it's a bad roof. So from what the pictures were on Google anyway, so I should have a video up of that. Uh, what's next? Friday, Saturday, I'm doing a really big pressure washing job. So I'll have a video. Um, about that as well. Um, some nice block paving, which I haven't done for a while actually since last year. I haven't done any block paving. So I've ordered 20 bags of sand for that job. Might have overbought, I don't know. If not, I can store it in the van. <laughs> right then, take care everyone. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for 2000 subscribers as well. Uh, not that I've hit it yet, but I should do soon. Um, and go check out my brother's channel. Give him a subscribe as well. Nice one. Thank you very much.